Hey guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. We're back for more. Welcome to 2024. We're excited about this year and I'm very optimistic. I think that we're going to create lots of jobs. All of you will create lots of jobs and uh, we're excited to see you grow. Please share with us right down below how you're doing and how what you're doing in order to get your books up to date and getting ready to take your business to the next level. Let's set some goals. That's the best thing about the beginning of the year is time to set, see what you've done in the past, learn what you uh, learn what happened last year and then for this year set your goals higher and then plan on getting it, making sure that you get to those, those uh, targeted goals. Okay. Today we're going to talk about recurring transactions, how to create a recurring transaction for a complex entry, such as adjusting entry at the end of the month for your restaurants uh, or for payroll. So how do you do that? Okay, but I don't want those transactions to automatically be created. I want just to be as a template over there so that I can use over and over again and adjust. So that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. So here we go. All right, QuickBooks Online, there it is, okay. So how, to, how do I get to recurring transaction? There's several ways. One of the ways is click on the top right-hand side gear menu and then select recurring transactions, okay, and there it is. So you can, cre you can create all kinds of recurring transactions here. Oh, by the way, in order to get that, you, can't, you have to have a higher subscription, uh, plus or advanced, uh, but this this is a very useful feature in order to create that you're gonna go ahead and click on the plus new here and we're gonna do a journal entry okay and one of the popular ones template that I talked to you about is for payroll okay so we're gonna we're gonna put this as unscheduled okay and payroll the reason why we create those entries is because a lot of times if you do payroll, not QuickBooks, not QuickBooks, uh, let's say ADP or Gusto, if you're not uh, integrated, it, ADP does integrate with QuickBooks. So if it's not integrated with QuickBooks and you're, you're, uh, they withdraw the money from uh, your account, the money that they withdraw accounts for several things. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and uh, record those uh, those journal entries, okay? So a few things that may happen. Now, keep in mind that this vary from state to state because there's different sales, there's different taxes, and I'm just creating a basic template here. So you may have to adjust to your own needs. So this is not, please consult your payroll specialist for all the accounts that you need to add here. This is just the basic, okay? First of all, we have, um, I, can, I can get started with wages. Okay, well, looks like we have to create that because this is a simple account. So we want to have an expense. And we're gonna go to payroll expenses. And I'm gonna call it wages. And when you create those payroll expenses, you want to, you, you want to do sub accounts, by the way, uh, and I'm gonna show you how to do it, but we, we can create it right from the journal entry. Let's say that um, there was a check for $2,500, uh, but 2,000 was wages, okay? And the rest was for something else. Let's suppose that uh, $200 was for federal taxes, Okay, so let's add new. And like I said, we're gonna create the expense right from here. Okay, and it is it is payroll. Payroll expenses, payroll taxes, expenses right here. See that? And there was wages, by the way. Now I'm gonna make this an account. I, I'm gonna make this a sub account, but first let, let me just create the payroll expenses and I'm gonna save and close. I'm gonna go back to this wages, wages and I'm going to 
I'm, I'm going to actually change that, okay? So I can duplicate this page. Then let me fix it. Okay, we're gonna go to chart of accounts and we're gonna go to wages. I'm gonna make some changes here. So I'm on the chart of accounts. I can make the change right here. So remember payroll expenses. Yes, right here. I'm gonna, I can select payroll wages expenses. And then on under the, the expenses, instead of just expenses, I can actually select that payroll account that I created and make this as a sub account of payroll. I can just uh, type. So I'm making a sub, a sub account. This wages is gonna be a sub account of payroll expenses, okay? Uh, okay, so we have wages. Now we can come, come back here and then this one is going to be taxes payroll taxes so i'm going to create the account right from here it's going to be expense and now a couple of things that you want to know is that um tax expense if you do payroll through quickbooks the taxes will actually go into a liability account and then clear uh clear into the profit and loss at the end of, at the end when you actually make the payment on those taxes but when you pay through like a adp or other or gusto or, or pay paychecks or things like that it actually, they are the one paying for your taxes and they withdraw all the money from your account. So the, we actually can put everything into the profit and loss because that money is, is not being held as a li liability. It's already taken out of your account to pay. So you already cleared that liability. So I'm going to make this um, as a payroll expense a sub account of payroll expenses and we're going to call it payroll i can put federal withholding okay i can put or i can put 940 slash 941 withholding withholding or withholding Okay, withholding expenses. Yeah, so this is, like I said, this is going straight into the expense account. So, and I'm gonna debit this as well. Okay, I'm gonna say that $200 was this federal. And then um, I have the state taxes, so I'm gonna create a new one. Um, I'm gonna make it an expense. And it's gonna be payroll as well, okay? And I'm gonna call this as state withholding taxes. And I'm gonna make a sub account of payroll. So let's say that it was an additional $200 or $100. And then, so I have another $200 and that could be, this could be um, just fees, payroll fees, right? We can leave it under payroll expenses or we can call payroll fees, okay? Let's go ahead and create payroll as so expense. Let's go payroll. We're gonna call payroll fees. Make a sub account of payroll. Okay. I see and close. 
and see that QuickBooks is gonna try to credit on this one but I'm not ready to credit yet I'm just dividing what's all included in here okay and I'm just gonna make it simple let's say that it's two hundred dollars is the payroll fees and we're done with that but that could be a lot of things involved on this template there could be a 401k that is actually going to be a liability and there there could be employee employer taxes that would be a liability as well or maybe it's already included that but usually uh, employer liability may may be coming through a different transactions under taxes right so this is uh this is the total of the the of the check or the money that was paid to the payroll company and this is going to be withdrawn from your checking account so now we're going to credit the 2500 and that's what's going to be taking out of your, your account as one lump sum including all those different different transactions or different expenses right so this is the lump sum and we're breaking down this $2,500 into se separate things that is included on that payroll like I said each state has different taxes and each each company has different breakdowns so you may have 401k you may have uh, child um, uh, child support withholding you may have uh, all kinds of of uh, extra things that you would like to add here and you can create it now um, when I create this journal entry it is for the purposes that this number here has to match exactly what was withdrawn from the bank and the date has to match and everything has to match okay so I'm gonna save it but I'm gonna save it as unscheduled because this is just a template I'm saving the template for the future because I'm doing that for several reasons okay I gotta name the template by the way that's my favorite here now I'm gonna call payroll template and now I can save this template and this saves so much time you have no idea no idea because you just have to fill in the numbers as you receive the report from your payroll uh, the payroll service company you will use those numbers to fill it out now what kind of documents do you need in order to do this breakdown and to reconcile your account usually you will need the payroll summary and your payroll tax liability report every month so um, you you may ask your gusto your paychecks your your uh, ADP whatever company you use they will provide you with those reports okay so it's payroll summary and your payroll tax liability and at the end of each quarter you want all the quarterly reports as well okay so that you can reconcile those payroll okay it, when you're ready to use that look at this you can just click here and then you can substitute this number you want to put the right date um, of the journal entry and make sure that everything is correct and then you can save or save and close save and new whatever you want to do and this should match with a transaction coming from the bank a withdrawal right so um, I'm gonna put those numbers to be for a, th a thousand two hundred dollars so that you can see how it matches this is not the same same kind of transaction but I want to go back to that journal entry that's the last one so I'm just gonna click on the counter clock and change those numbers so that we can match that so I'm gonna say that maybe this was eight hundred dollars two hundred and then a hundred and one hundred and this was twelve hundred dollars okay all right so I'm gonna save and close the date is right I can just update one time only by the way not all, all, all everything and once I updated that and I refresh this checking account look at this I would be matching this transaction and if you want to make sure everything is right this transaction is gonna be break broke broken down like that okay and sometimes you may have tips you may have all kinds of things that you want to add to this template but it is a very useful tool in QuickBooks Online so you can use this and then you will just match 
and you have all the information related to that transaction okay so this is it for today let's go back here okay all right <laughs> hopefully this was useful so this was recurring tra transactions uh templates templates we created a template so that you can use uh it could be monthly weekly and you can do different kinds of uh templates you can you can do a journal entry for for your payroll you can do a journal entry for your square adjustment at the end of the month uh, or you can do if you have a restaurant for your for your inventory adjustment and then you would just change the number so you use that template and change the number according to whatever report you have at the end of the month okay so this that's very useful so you don't have to recreate the the wheel each each time you have to create that journal entry or whatever you want to create uh, as recurring templates all right thank you for watching if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel we're gonna come back every week yes every week with different kinds of subjects in quickbooks align to help you and that's my main goal to help you succeed on your business succeed in keeping your accounting up to date so that you can look at your books at any time and know where you are know your point of reference so you can set those goals and hit those goals and grow your business and take it to the next level thanks for watching i hope to see you next week but until next time keep on smiling <laughs>